I need you to help me fix my computer. That's what I <laughs> Oh, dude. I was driving back from Buffalo <laughs> yeah. when I was talking to you about that. And, like, my hard my hard drive got wiped on the way home. <laughs> dude, well, no. I was leaving Buffalo. We drove to Niagara. And I was driving home from Niagara. My hard yeah. drive about to get wiped. And I, I realized earlier this week, or last week, and I was almost embarrassed to like follow up. So, oh but no, I, I was, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't that upset about. It. Yeah, I like because I knew I'm pretty certain it's good, fucked. Baby. You can also slide that table. You like everything I've looked into, it is like yeah. you can check the power, check the connection. So you know, what dad's coming. Uh, <laughs> you can saying. like handle. A you do like a little like you like reselect. Dude, my dad, he went through a like phase where work. he had this profound jock itch, I'm pretty sure and he had this industrial size that really get in there and. Chris is screwing around. <laughs> yep, which I can. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of catching up to do. Clearly, <laughs> this is this is this is how you He's know. Playing his guitar. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. This, this He's is talking to me about his dad's jock itch. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I yeah. wanted. This is when the date goes well. You yeah, know? totally. And you got two different combos. So I took my mom's that. Hitachi to the shop. They said there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to sell her a Sibian. <laughs> So I said, let me talk to my buddy first. He knows about these things. Are they still even making Sibians? That's got to be like, oh, yeah. I you thought that me, was dude? like. Yeah. That's your guy, dude. You that's like the Atari bro? of this is this masturbation. Is <laughs> no way. That's the Clitari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm actually going to treat my wife sometime soon. To a yeah. Sibian? Yeah. Good Whoa. for you. Yeah, I got Sibian. Oh, well, you got a fucking a stack of old assholes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to trade them in like games at GameStop. <laughs> They're going to give me fucking 60 bucks and fucking twat credit. <laughs> <laughs> Whore credit, Mike. Whore credit. <laughs> there you go. You're the emperor of like those like fake rubber assholes. Or, like, Thank you. Dolls. Thank you. Yeah. You she... would be my go-to. You're the first person I'm going to text. I'm like, what do you think about, you know, the uh... game that means a lot to me. <laughs> There's going to be in like 20 years if Vice is still around, they're going to make a YouTube documentary about, documentary about Mike and they're going to be following him around like a dusty shed full of old like yeah. fake assholes. Yeah. And it's just gonna be like, he's going to have white hair and like a ponytail. He's been wearing Crocs and he's going to be like, yeah, I guess father. if you guys are interested in this stuff, <laughs> <laughs> this man's been collecting fake assholes for the past <laughs> 60 dad, years. My dad doesn't, he doesn't take like, uh, he's not good with Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you buy him, down in the cellar up above like their third fridge or whatever yeah there's just it's a it's a christmas gift graveyard so you're like dad likes golf and you'll get them like this little golf gift that's like unique or whatever kind of cool and they stack upon one another and you can almost like see like the years you disappointed your father yeah and i imagine mike has a fridge just full of fuck dolls and fuck dolls. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, an just pollyanna assholes yeah. <laughs> it's it like oh yeah this would be good i got yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 it you always tell your daughter, like, no yeah. i liked it i liked the gift it meant a lot it looks like when uh, the mom in uh child's play is looking at the wall of chucky dolls except all the dolls are doing a headstand in the yeah. box <laughs> back off jack fuck he's back <laughs> it always it always disappointed me that they never uh they put so much effort into getting like the asshole or the vagina the, like molded right, mm -hmm. but yeah. then on the inside it's all just it's it's lawlessness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like knobs and ribs. You're and not into yeah. the texture of the interior. Uh, yeah, it's like well, that's what you want. Put yeah. the gel all the way up their asshole, <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so you get an authentic <laughs> asshole. No. Wait, what do you mean? Put the Dude, gel all put the, way the up gel like, all the way into the pussy, no, so no. that it's the actual. You want the asshole to feel like the pussy because the asshole's like spelunking. Or whatever. It's like you just jump into the entrance of the cave. I think, and then it's hollow. Yeah, you want the asshole whoa, to feel whoa, like whoa, the puss. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna come, come, come. Does it feel good? Good, good, good. I think that's the great. That's the great disappointment of anal. It's like <laughs> just a wanner. It's like Is somebody in here, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyone alive? <laughs> yeah, like anal sex is like walking onto a movie set. It's like you know, if you pull the store, it's not really a bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's cardboard all along. There's like I, a misspelled then, like scrawled pussy sign above the asshole. It's like okay, you I've, me. I've only butt fucked my wife dick's once. Dick's all covered in shit. You can't put it back in the pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now yeah, you're you just fuck stuck. it. You bought it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you're just stuck, fucking like a I don't know one of those like hose you rings. A, you did like a uh, you bought one of the just the asses, right? Like the. I got swindled, and Tim actually surprised me for my birthday with the real thing. Oh, wait, you got swindled. Chris, what they do That's is Huck layers. Mike, you, Mike uses the internet like a ninety-five-year-old man. <laughs> he told me he, he was like Tim. He was like so excited. He was like, "Dude, I bought a sex torso." 
And I was like, that's awesome. What did you get? He was like, I don't know. It was just whatever they had on the site. I said, what was the site? And he goes, I think it was something like spicyredpeppers.com. I was yeah. like, Mike. What the <laughs> fuck? You just, you just sent Bitcoin to China, basically. Yeah. This is, <laughs> it was essentially Shangfang Dang LLC. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was the most fake shit I've ever heard of in my entire life. <laughs> spicy peppers. Spicy peppers. Yeah, it was, it was spicy, spicy red peppers. Pe- spicy red peppers. And I... Dude. I forget what I paid. Maybe like 60 who's, bucks. Who's the CEO of Spicy Red Peppers? <laughs> Steve Knobs. <laughs> yeah. I got a Szechuan butthole. <laughs> from Dude, every, spicyredpeppers.com. Every fall, Steve Knobs comes out in a fucking black turtleneck and fucking glasses like bringing out the new sex robot. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I spent like 60 bucks and the the grift is they send you something. It was like, it was like a couple cock rings and like, it was sex toys. We couldn't identify by sight. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We almost had to like call. Yeah, we had to try them the out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do I eat this? But it ended up being, what was it? Nipple pumps. The manuals pumps. in uh, yeah. Mandarin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, Completely fuck. useless. <laughs> Dude, I, said, I got one of these on that ear. thin paper that's just like they didn't put no effort in this. What would you think this was if you saw a clear plastic cylinder about this long and about this wide, and at the end it had like <laughs> like a pipe. like a sur- <laughs> almost like a syringe pipe? Dude, it looked like a thick yeah. crack. It was, it was a Magnum crack pipe. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. fucked this crack pipe. I, can I get a yeah. refund? Imagine it was for smoking that dude boulders. Also did crack. <laughs> Brought his friends over. Is like just smoking out of a fucking dildo. Like, yeah. Dude, Jake has been Dude. doing it too much. <laughs> Ripping crack out of a bad dragon would be so sick. <laughs> if you're buying out of a two-handed dildo. <laughs> If you're buying sex toys from Spicy Red Peppers, <laughs> chances are you're yeah, smoking man. crack. Yeah. yeah. If you look deeper, he's got a secondhand smoke shop. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, even doors through the roof. How can we combine these things? We need these fucking bombs to be studded so we can fuck. They got a storefront. The store's called Statutory Vape. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the pun gods have blessed the house. I know. I know. All right, so, I'm going to start over. so, so you, you research just for the torso. Mm. The torso is just tits, no arms, no legs, and asshole and puss. No, well, in a um, Mark in one, in a physiological tits. sense, yeah. yes, you I guess. One with tits. But in a pervert sense, the the torso to me was like belly, uh, legs above the knee. Did it have a pussy, belly button? Asshole and cheeks. No tits. Legs I think it did have a belly knee. button. It had a belly button. Can yeah, you, I think you paid extra for the belly button. Mm. Can yeah. you articulate the legs, or are they just splayed? Dude, it's Permanent. like down to here. Oh, it's not oh, a way. Oh, it's oh, just no. down to here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's down to boxer brief length. Mm. Yeah. It's like but so I think the one that you showed me, the screenshot, it had tits. The one that you ordered and never got. Yeah, the one that I did get looks like something your dad would find in the war. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's best friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have tits. <laughs> <laughs> Same spatial. I still thought about it. <laughs> I've been in this jungle for way too long. <laughs> you could order aftermarket titanium legs to add to it, like <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Yeah, so so my real soldier wasn't the uh, top of the line, but Tim probably paid a little bit extra so I could get the the good one. Yeah, two, and your, two did holes. your one come with the the boobs or no? No boobs, no. Mm-hmm. but higher quality cheek. I I mean it, it existed. That was a plus, you know, like it yeah. showed up. Mm-hmm. So in terms of, I'm sorry to keep cutting. A good no, a good fake pussy is like a good stepdad. You know what I mean? It's not the one that you pick, but it's the one that showed up. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so did you did you look forward to? Like what? What did you high uh, or hold in higher regard? Like the, the internal pressure, of the, you know, the thrusting, or did it all come into play? Like, did you? If you're only buying a torso to make it look realistic without you being weird, you'd have to put like a pillow over the fucking <laughs> broken shoulders. It's a lot of rigmarole. You have to hide the yeah. legs, yeah. Or you just wedge that ass in between two mattresses. Like, how do you make it feel? That's like- really all it is. Is like he had a great method. Actually, he could show you on the ottoman. It's worth seeing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> right. You don't have to. Well, describe it first. Describe it first oh, yeah. before Go you jump on. Them. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Chris, which which cushions do you normally sit on? I'll fuck those. <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically, I'm a meat and potatoes guy, so normally I would just set it on the bed. You are and not I would... a meat and potatoes guy. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to sex toys, yeah, I am. I no, 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 no. 
<laughs> meat and potatoes yeah, meat is, potatoes is, is lotion and a hand <laughs> towel. Yeah. <laughs> meat and yeah. potatoes. Someone tell Mike what meat and potatoes is. <laughs> you're, you're a whole switching and coming yeah, on tits yeah. and a torso. Yeah. That's by I usually order my sex towel. <laughs> That's very high level. I order my sex towel from space. I'm not regular yeah. meat and potatoes. <laughs> yeah, nothing fancy for me. I like uh, silicone amputee, if you know what I mean. I, some of these guys like their high falutin me- mechanical pussies. I'm just a regular old, yeah. just cut the legs off and yeah. ship it to my house kind yeah. of guy. Someone call me vanilla. I shit my palm and stare at my wife's face. It is funny, though, if you're that deep into that world, it ha- that has to feel like, no, this is just a, I mean, you don't have to plug this one into a computer. It is. Yeah. 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 In that regard, it is me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this thing was really just a gross paperweight. Like, it really is that. Yeah. There's no bells and whistles. You just put it down, <laughs> and you just sink into it. You yeah. set it and forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pussy. Are you flipping it over? Are you? No. <laughs> is it active? No. Yeah. Basically, Chris, it's just like you literally just throw it down, and the uh, back side of it is flat. The you front side. Flat ass. Was it? So, what was the position like when you put it down? Was it like? Spread eagle, yes. or was it turned over? No, you know, it was just it. it was just spread eagle. Like I never gotcha. got fancy with it. It was just plopped it down. Did you ever fuck the butt? Uh, I don't think so, dude. You're saving I, it for like what? saving it for Tom. A I'm game. not a butt man. Oh my god! Not even a fake butt man. Chris, I've only butt fucked my wife once. Okay, like that's that makes sense though. Yeah. But yeah. this is the reason you get a fucking toy from China. If I when I get a I'm wife, gonna, I will not butt fuck. I'm gonna her make probably. mistakes with this doll. Uh, I can't Tom. Talk. No, but you know what? With sex toys, like, this is what, I don't know, this is what I get jammed up on. Like, I've bought a bunch, but I don't use them often just because the cleanup is such a hassle. Yeah. Damn. Exactly. Tommy's got my mind spinning. It would be fun as fuck to just bust in one and then spike it onto the floor yes. as hard as you could. <laughs> Dude, if, it, like, if you're an abusive father or something, Dude. It, the ideal situation. I'm listening. Is to yeah. get a full head to toe in a hypothetical oh, world <laughs> <laughs> where you want to fuck someone and then punt them. <laughs> I didn't say punt. Tell me something. Imagine you're. The what if we went to? Yeah. What if, what if we might want to fuck someone and then spike? Them. No, no, no. If let's you're be like, mature, you know, let's yeah. be mature and <laughs> collectively be mature and go. Look, women aren't like open to to break in that fucking. You know. Yeah, women don't want to get frisbeed into the wall after you fill them no, with no, cum. No, 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 no. Not a few. So I'm, saying, I'm saying like anal sex is like, you know, you once you break that hymen type situation. I know it's an op- the opposite. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, exactly. Once you get into that scenario, it's a very, very select group of, of people, women and men, that are like, let's make this part of our sexual repertoire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's such a fantasy. It's a taboo for men to go, I want... To have sex anally, even if it's not good, you just have this like vision of that's a no no zone. Yeah. So then it, you know, it I think that's the whole point because when you actually when rubber meets the road and you actually get into a butt, you're like, eh. yeah, yeah. Is, you know, is, is, is this road? To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so mean when but rubber meets the road. Hot. That's what's that's that's what's hot about it is that the girl wants you to fuck them in the ass. Yeah. That's that. That's yeah. But that's, that's also where your a brain red flag start. for dudes that are like a lot of women aren't doing this. I know, and that's a. But it's like they want me so bad, they'll take it that's anywhere. That's what you think. No, yeah, no, just, that's the fan. Well, that's the fantasy. Yeah, right, right, right. So if you're fucking a doll in the ass, it's like right. what's the point? The doll doesn't well, care. No. Good point. Yeah, no, that's right. The doll. The doll's not like. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next generation dolls. Doll's so like, like no, yeah, no, that's no, no. the yeah. doll can't try to scoot away. The doll can't <laughs> act a little bit ashamed about yeah. it while you're doing it. Yeah. I get what you're yeah. saying. Call dude. her boyfriend. Yeah, it is yeah. actually a waste of money to engineer a butthole for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is inefficient design. I also yeah. think spiking it really ruins the illusion. Yeah. Well, you're cum splat with everything. <laughs> It's yeah, I, that would be funny though. That would be awesome. <laughs> it's like, it's like the, do that. I'm banking <laughs> open the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that blue shit. Make your you start beating the shit out of the dolls. <laughs> you make your wife my <laughs> fake pussy went off, dude. <laughs> you make your wife hold a tarp like she's at fucking Gallagher. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, man. So what's yeah. the next? Like, where did you leave off? Like, what what were you content with in terms of the doll um, experience? I had fun with it, but again, like after I would finish with it, it's like you wash it out as best as you can, and then you put it in the closet. And when you put it in the closet, it's 
And it, no, I have Mike a, actually has them on like a dry cleaning thing that like goes through his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's got them on the conveyor belt. <laughs> I got my no, ticket no. for like it. Like a Japanese yeah. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> He's just picking dishes. <laughs> <laughs> so you put it in the closet. And that's where what happens when you put it in the closet. Yeah, I have I had an old suitcase that belonged to a comedian named Kent Haynes that I would that that oh, would shit. throw it in. Yeah. Yeah, he was great. And I would put it in there and um it just every time I took it out, it just had more shit stuck to it. And it wasn't cum related. It was just Lynn. Sticky stuff. Yeah, it's just and after a while it's you know yeah, it's time. The, yeah. Well, can't you take it out back and put like a, a hose? Like a garden hose? Can you power wash it? That's <laughs> <laughs> just like saying hi to your neighbor, you're power washing the puss of <laughs> big sex doll. No, you've got them all laid out in the driveway. You're just watering them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like when your Stretch Armstrong would get like gunk on it. Yeah, yeah. they're as sticky as Stretch Armstrong blood. Yeah. <laughs> that was when they really got sticky is when he got like a little nip well, in <laughs> So I think it's like, damn, was this hair? mostly cat hair this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you see this thing after it's been in the closet, you would need like a fucking race riot hose yeah. to yeah. clean this thing yeah. out. It's got like a texture to it. Yeah. Yeah, well, the texture itself is, is meant to mimic. I what? think you actually. Right. It is, yeah. So it's like sticky and warm and. <clears throat> you know how like. Pliable. Your iPhone just stops working after a while when they want you to buy a new one. Yeah. I think that's the idea behind pussy technology. Do you know what? Do you want to know He's the secret? Engineered obsolescence. Yes. I yeah. wish I wish this was a joke. Do you want to know the secret of fake pussy care? What's that? I found this out with the auto blow, dude. First of all, <laughs> this sucks. That's it. I hate this so I much. I found this out with the auto listen, blow. Listen to this, okay? First of all, I I truly believe most fleshlights are single use. I think most dudes get a look at the cleaning process and they go, "I'm good," and they toss mm. it. Yeah. When you clean these things, which is so demoralizing it's yeah. it's the most i mean dude you have to you're you're going all the way in with like hand soap and like trying <laughs> yeah, to like scoop your own cum out yeah and then when you're done you dry it thoroughly and you're supposed to dust it with cornstarch that's what keeps uh, the stickies off dust it with cornstarch dust it with cornstarch yeah. like, like a kid just threw up in school <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cover it with maple yeah. sawdust. Put the wood chips around the fackerel and puke that. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it's gonna start feeling like changing a baby's diaper. <laughs> it is easier to have a baby than a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Well, I, I had a flashlight once. I got a as a gift pass away. Doing a Did you ever clean it? Stole yeah. it. No, I just after like you're right. You're after supposed to fuck it once like, and I'm then you not... roof it. Well, I also did. I also did. <laughs> Imagine like a fucking a gutter cleaner. Going to your dad's house, going like, well, I mean, your dad's like, you're working with your dad for the summer, Why? like cleaning gutters. He's just like broomsticking dildos off the roof. Flesh like three Nerf balls, a football, a basketball, yeah. and just a fucking dildo. And then a, a Nerf pussy howler. <laughs> it's like the P. Like dad's blaming bag. mom. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. No, I'm saying like I agree with you. I think it's like it's the the cost of. Uh, the energy of cleaning is like so it's so immense that you're just like it wasn't also like the the girth of it it's so big it's like you're jerking off a bigger dick yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. it's not even the demoralization yeah. it's the fucking <laughs> as you're fucking you're just like i'm so fucking gay I'm like damn dude i'm really fucking yeah, yeah. i'm feeling this shit i know this is yeah. mostly flashlight yeah. but uh. no i don't think so i think it's struggling i'm scratching <laughs> Am I hitting the? I think I might be hitting the back of this thing. <laughs> yeah, dude. When your dick comes no to the other hell. side, you're yeah. like, Jesus, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking. You. I feel like it would only make sense now if you, you put it in like it a down. like a cat like a couch like this, like right. And you really you yeah. get some hip yeah. action. Yeah. Fucked it. Well, that's the move. Yeah, like because this took can't it imagine took so long that like I started cramping like the fingers and such, and I was like, I can't. And after one time, I was like, that was cool, but like, dude, I could do this thing. Yeah, but dude, imagine you never get pussy. Right. That's yeah, what it's really right. for. It's yeah. not for like, wow, Agreed. I'd like to jerk off in a great way right now. Yeah. It's not for that. Yeah, they're shoving that in the insert of like a paper mache body. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. They've yeah. got an iPad with like girls' profile pictures Behind directly it. above it. Yeah. Yes. Damn, that's a good one. Yeah, but once they I'm, get... I'm but get you get one. But you get pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it, it wouldn't prepare you for pussy. It's not like... It's nowhere near pussy. 
Of no, course no one's not. Saying it's yeah, right. <laughs> We're comparing. It's barely off. near butthole, dude. I, I know, but it's like it's like yeah, you might as well jerk off. I also jerk off in a. I in might a, order fake boobs and just squeeze them all night. I see that I like. <laughs> right, that yeah. I, could, that I, I could just a fake set of tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to a fake just, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a way better. You just get idea. big heaters that like have a nice touch to them. <laughs> I remember the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At like the YMCA, I, I like in the women's locker room, we found like uh, one of those one a of fake those, pussy. One of those. <laughs> <laughs> One of those, Whoa. one of those. Burke, hit the record scratch sound effect. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the YMCA in the women's locker room? Yeah, we found one of those, those little tit inserts. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it feels insert. so much like a tit. Yeah. And you know, you're like, you're like nine years old just being like, what the fuck, yeah. dude? This yeah. is incredible. I just, yeah, I hung on to that. Did you like, see all the Did you get caught? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It was like a thing that our, I, I remember like. like orchestra of boners. I remember all summer, like our friends, like passing it around. <laughs> yeah, you get a touch. Yeah, I love you so much. Oh, God, I love you. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Damn. Do you remember the first time you saw a tit? Yeah. That, like, blew in your real head? life? I do. Yeah, in real life. Nah. I absolutely do, man. Me too. Uh, first time you saw mm. a tit that blew your mind, or first time you no, saw no, just a like tit. Well, first tit, that's redundant. Which yeah. blew my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Not yeah. Yeah. Blew my first mind. time I saw a tit was my mom's. Exactly, tit. that didn't blow your mind. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. So it was just. No, like, I mean like a was that at the Y too? Tit as a child, not a child, an adolescent. Yeah. It wasn't like your girlfriend. It wasn't like hooking up, going, "Oh shit." Yeah. Dude. I was never really a tit guy. Honestly, dude, I got so I got so blown over <laughs> by what Tommy's talking about. Yeah. By the time I saw a girlfriend's tit. I was I was already ruined by the tit that Tommy's talking about. All right, well, tell me about your tit. So when I was, my goodness, I must have been between 10 and 12 years old. Perfect, like, just coming online to the idea of tits. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. I had this wigger older brother, and <laughs> he had a girlfriend. You remember when wiggers used to have, like, disproportionately hot girlfriends? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're sexy people. This dude had a girlfriend that looked like Vicky Valancourt from The uh, Water Park. And, wow. dude, she had, probably to this day... The, like, if I had to do a tit power ranking, this is probably number one to this day. Still, I it must be, and obviously, dude, I'm this is through the lens of a child, rose, right, right, rose tinted right, glasses. Right, 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 right. Number one, John <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> no, I bet they're still good. Um, <laughs> dude, not like not her now. I bet they're not yeah, great no, Chris, now. But I'm you, saying, but. if you looked back now, like at I, those you know what, tits, if we're talking like, impact, oh my it'll never God. be top. Yeah, That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. It does maybe. Who knows? Technically, the, who knows how they stack up against every other tit in the world? But as far as impact on me, this mm. was like yeah, for fundamental stuff. Yeah. So or formative stuff. So uh, we had an above ground pool, and dude, my brother was a That's wigger. That's a wigger hot tub, dude. dude. My brother was a wigger, <laughs> so you know he was roughhousing with his girl mm -hmm. in the in the pool. Just slap box. And I remember the first, dude, and she was wearing like the 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 most like risque bikini you could get away with in front of your boyfriend's family. Yeah. And I remember, dude, and this was like an entire summer that this that this went on. And the first day, I was like, I'm going to be hanging out by the back window pretty much this whole. So I got nothing to do. Yeah. I probably for I probably went without making friends because I was just like, ah, I'm going to hang out in the laundry room, see what's up. You know what yeah. I mean? Just yeah. staring out <laughs> the pool every day. <laughs> and I remember one day, I had a feeling when I got up, I was like, they're coming over. They're definitely going to go swimming. And he's going to be horsing around too much. Today's the day. I, dude, I can feel it. Yeah. I fe if, uh, honestly, it felt like the birds were singing it to me when I woke up that <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. And sure enough, dude, he's trying to fucking like chicken fight against nobody with her in the pool. And after one of the big dunks, she came up and it was out. And I was just like, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was everything I ever yeah. This is why for. we play. <laughs> <laughs> I took off my headset and threw my clipboard on the ground. <laughs> You see your big pong on the tire yeah. for your birth. Yeah, like don't get me wrong, man. I have a lovely family and I adore them. But when I'm when I'm closing my eyes the last time and I'm dying, that's the moment I'm going to be thinking about. You, you know no, that's that's going to be your rosebud. <laughs> <fine. laughs> Fat shit. Mine was around the same age. I was like ten years old, and I was mm. on a beach in Sea Isle, mm. and this woman comes out of the water in a in a uh, uh, what do you call it? Bathing suit. Wet suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wet suit. <laughs> yeah. She was full. Tit. Uh, coma. Like surfing? <laughs> yeah. Sur surfing head to toe wetsuit. Did she unzip? Yeah, she with unzipped the, with the cable. Dude, let me, let me oh, slowly boy. tell you what happened. <laughs> let me entice oh, you. Boy. I can fucking sketch oh, it. Right. Dude, if you titillate boy. me right now, I'm leaving. It's, it's unreal. 
and it was one of those short beaches where like it was just under like uh, w- it doesn't matter. So I'm on a blank. What do you mean, like where retarded kids hang out? <laughs> My <laughs> short beach. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the beach, and this chick comes up, and she starts panicking, and she's so close that I am like concerned. At ten years old, I'm like, "What's wrong with her? She's going fucking nuts." And then she starts saying loudly, she's like, I can't find my ring. I can't find my ring. She lost her wedding ring. And in such a panic, she unzips her wetsuit and just takes her tits out. She's flopping her wetsuit down. And I am what? 10 feet away from just oh bombs my God. doing <laughs> jello shots. Dude. Panic tits. Panic tits. That's awesome. And she doesn't care about like who's around. In that moment, yeah. she's Horror just, movie tits. Yeah. She, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much hard. Yeah, yeah. This is a stripper in a fight at Waffle House tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no fight. Like no chicken mm. fight. There was no fight in the game. Only, only her. Just and, panic and, and the disappointment no of her husband, who she would have to go home to, saying, "I don't have a wedding uh, ring." And yeah. Then the rest Sorry, the I lost my wedding ring taking my tits out at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got on all fours too. Stop. She dude. dropped right to the Stop, sand. Dude. I swear to God. So I saw. Did she start sucking the sand? <laughs> 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 I saw bare tits exposed and I was completely baffled. Mm. And then she drops down and I saw swinging tits on all fours. This Whoa. is, yeah. which is like, this is like, like taking a course for like yeah. what's going to happen in life. This is like a scene from like an old Italian movie. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Fellini or something, like some real artsy. American like, pizza pie. Like, <laughs> Italian, yeah. Yeah. This is an Italian 19, surfing film. 1960s <laughs> Italian. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that changed me. Yeah, that that's formative. Ch- changed mm. me. Because it's different than a regular team. That's a sliding doors moment. Because then there's a version of you that did not have this experience. And it's like, I don't know, you're probably a banker or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You wear pants that go down to your shoes. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? It's, it's, who knows what kind of impact this had on us? <laughs> Putin, Putin doesn't invade Ukraine. <laughs> it's a butterfly effect. Everything spiraled out yeah. from this one. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Shout out to Cindy from Seattle for showing your tits. Wow. <laughs> Saving the world. <laughs> and Kiev. <laughs> wow, man. Although you yeah, seem like awesome. a tit magnet, though. Like, I imagine, like, once that, once the floodgates opened, they fell out of the sky oh, for you. It. Oh, you mean the, uh, the availability of tits? Yeah, yeah. Or my adoration for tits? Uh, well, both. Yeah, a little bit both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because once you give a little a little bit back, they come back to you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You got you to gotta, you gotta show love to get love. That's the universe, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tuniverse. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> I can only say that while resting on a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Chris, uh, at, at the short beach, the only part of you that's not sunburned is the shoulder that doesn't have the WWE heavyweight belt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Damn. still watch wrestling? Uh, I'm close. <laughs> close um, to quitting or close to getting back no, in? No, close to getting in because a friend of ours like asked if he could come over and watch it the other night. That's because you got a brain tumor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I said no, but it got me to thinking like, man, I really had a lot of fun when I used to watch wrestling. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a shot and see if I can get back into it for SummerSlam. I can see you getting back into that. I think going to it would be incredibly fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it would be so I'd much I'd make a fun. sign for sure. Like, how, what, 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 what runs Because the energy in the building is probably insane. Yeah. With insane people. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like but 90% like, they're special into kids. into it. Right. Exactly. And adults that are It's theater. Care. It's like, it's theater in an arena. And it's ridiculous. It's got to be ridiculous. Yeah. And I bet up close, a lot of that action is actually very impressive. Yeah. Well, top rope. You guys ever been to wrestling shows? No. Oh, you yeah. ever go to like an independent wrestling show? No. See that I'd be into. Even those are very sick. That I'd be into. Even the, yeah, like I've been to like a bunch of like Chikara and Ring of Honor stuff in Philly. It's at the old ECW arena, or it yeah. used to be. I've been going in years, but like, yeah, watch them do come out and do something like high flying in front of like thirty people. Yeah. And they all lose their minds. Is yeah. Powerful shit. Yeah. Tim, yeah. at the independent shows, are people of like the same intelligence level as like high level wrestling productions? Yeah, it's like uh like genius retarded people. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. dudes who have like very specific deep knowledge about a thing, but it looks like they can't wipe their ass or brush their teeth. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Like they're experts, but it lo- they like they could drown in the sink any given day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> See that and those people get hyped. Yeah. For events. Just like balding 22-year-olds with long hair and shit, wireframe glasses, 
is yeah. very fucked up. Dude, that's the spectacle. Has that's got to be. <laughs> yeah. That's the retard paradox. It's like you belong in a cage and you love steel cages too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this that kind of podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of pregnant smokers. <laughs> we'll be right back with locking up retarded people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would, you, we should go sometime. You guys want to go? The backyard would, yeah. thing I get because like there's a. I want to go to prowess. Destruction Derby. That. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I want to drive talking. in one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've always wanted to drive in one of those. That'd be tough. What's your car of choice? Long caddy. Yeah, I was thinking like 85? boxy Buick. Yeah. You know. I feel like there's a lot of CTE going on in the destruction no. derby mm-hmm. world. Yeah. Really? Definitely. You can't spell catalytic converter cars. without it, baby. <laughs> 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 they don't lock in, right? They're in derby? They don't do that, like, no, change um, of the helmet shit? No, safe. they got they got Box white car. helmet, seat belt. Or maybe they have the double, they have the cross. <clears throat> yeah, and then when your car is, like, fully disabled, you get out and wave, and then another car fishtails you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> is I it feel like, like the... The biggest issue is like the whiplash, not like the fucking head smash. Well, it's all just if your head is doing this a lot. Yeah, it's not good. I think you get CTE from like riding a jet ski. Damn. From like bouncing. That's my dream. Yeah. Is to be successful enough to get CTE <laughs> from jet ski. Yeah, he's got Jamaican CTE. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah. he was doing, you know he was doing well because that CT from Dude, jet ski. I can't wait to <laughs> hang a child from the handlebars of my jet ski because of my CT. <laughs> How is he, Doc? He's not too iry. <laughs> he just keep going to another state. Dude, fucking. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I want to see do. Oh, that's the dream, yeah. I want to see Is that the stand up one? No, I want the uh, like three, four person see do. Yeah. Looks around like a jet ski. Who's That's your Who's your dream watercraft? three passengers Damn. for your seat, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude? Well, fuck well, fuck Mary jet ski. Me. Well, <laughs> all of us just. <laughs> Damn, that got lost. Oh, fuck Mary jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, like, what do you do pre- to prepare for this pun- this punish? <laughs> All the time. Really and Start his car Stop. with the garage door closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were in the fucking derby. For <laughs> Came up in the derby. Yeah, I was. I was in the original crash up derby. My mom was abused when she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the old steps McGee. And he's okay. Are you still alive? Uh yeah, yeah. I think they're seventy six and seventy four. Yeah, my pop just turned seventy six. You think they're still sexually active? No. The reason why I think that is because my mom yelled something that could have no. been a joke. It could have been for real. You know Cecily Tynan, the yeah. ABC News weather lady, very hot? Yeah. Well, there was a time recently where she was out for some kind of medical issue. They wouldn't specify what it was, but they said that she had a medical issue and she'll be back soon. And my dad yelled out, uh, what is it, Cecily? If you need an organ, I'll donate. And my mom yelled from the kitchen, why don't you donate the one that doesn't work anymore? Oh. Yeah, so I don't think they're important. Oh. Wow, and yeah. she's mad about it. Yeah. Damn. Do if my, dude, if my dick stops working and my elderly wife <clears throat> makes fun of it, I'll kill her on the spot. Yeah, yeah but how wet is her way. pussy getting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't have the same pizzazz if I'm like, yeah, your pussy's dry. No, you know pussies, I mean? yeah, pussies dry up. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, nobody's like, talking bro. about it. Yeah, they also don't have, have to do function. anything. Like, what? they can underperform and you wouldn't know. Like, if they're not into it. You know, if we get in our own head, <laughs> you don't notice when they're not into it. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like <laughs> in- internally, because it's palpable to me. Dude, internally. Yeah. Imagine Tommy just pounding yeah. away on it. He's like, "What are you doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> is they gonna get wet or what?" He starts jackhammering. <laughs> no, I mean like your bird is telling the mm. woman you're into it because it's hard. Mm. Yeah, the yeah. chick can just like. Yeah, yeah, they can just hack through it. Be like, yeah. I no, know. but they don't get like they don't, old no. ladies don't get wet. You just got to. I, I, How many old ladies have you fucked, dude? I I'm, <laughs> I'm interested in the answer actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I worked in like pharmaceuticals, like marketing for a while, and um, I used to have to watch you read these pamphlets. Yeah, about old lady yeah. pussy. I would edit research videos yeah. where they, there would be people interviewing old women whose pussies have dried up, and they would be like. You know, what's it like? And they're like, it's a nightmare. They're like, you know, because it's like, I want to get wet. It's like hot when I get wet and then we can just like fuck fast. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't want to have to like lube up 
All you got to do is uh, squirt some stuff in there. No, but it's a yeah. whole. I mean, imagine, if, you had a, imagine if your dick had a pump. We should it's make like, no. It still no. gets hard. I just did a pump. It we up. should make lube gogurts for old lady pussies. <laughs> <laughs> just because, like, the, I mean, the whole thing of like getting out a tube and opening yeah. it, and then like, oh, is that <laughs> like too much? And you're like, oh, my hands so fucking slippery <laughs> now. Just, I can't grab <laughs> asses hard. You know what I'm talking about? Just like, juice her up with a fucking Capri grandson. Capri grandson. <laughs> yeah, dude, we should make like a like a. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're Fuck. good to go. <laughs> you got to elbow break break the, the fucking glass plate open with your elbow to get it out. I've you seen this. I've seen a little like syringe in porn. They got a little syringe where they squirt stuff up. Yeah, there. Uh. yeah. So they got that. But this was the most heartbreaking part. Is that <laughs> during these interviews, they would be like, "What if there was a pill that you could take that would you know you get wet, sop them up?" Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, that'd be amazing. Does that exist? And they were like, no. No. <laughs> Would well, that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine being a scientist. You're like, no, that'd be cool as fuck, though, right? <laughs> you're in a lab coat. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, uh, that would be Dude, so I just tight. think with elderly sex, like, nobody enjoys it. It's like, you're riding, like, a uh, children's roller coaster. Where everybody's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. you'd have to be. Nah. What's the oldest lady you fucked? This is for you too, because I never fucked an old lady. I had sex with a fifty-five year old when I was twenty-three years old. I'm sure. Okay, so fifty-five, uh, Chris, can you confirm? Does it? Do they still get wet at fifty-five? Uh, they absolutely do. I don't know. I I think I I think I hooked up with a lady that was like almost sixty in Florida once. Oh, so wow. I, it sounds she was like hot though. But did she get I'm wet? Not sure what happened? What did she get wet? During I don't Jeopardy. Remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Leo. I'm not even sure if we, oh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't even know if we did anything. <laughs> Call me Pat Say Jack, you old we, bitch. Like, we, we, she like came back to my room and we like slept, but like at six thirty at night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we four PM. Yeah. I just shut the blinds because the sunlight's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> we finished our paninis yeah. around four <laughs> fifteen. <laughs> Yeah, she got she got the real track. early bird. Yeah, she did. She got up. She got up early and left. Yeah. She's like looking over her glass, like Christopher, are you coming to bed? <laughs> so you didn't have sex with yeah. I have no idea. I don't think so. You can still hear kids outside playing basketball. You're like, I guess so. <laughs> Chris, did she have to move like stacks and stacks of old newspapers off the bed? So you could fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's just beating off next to her, and all I hear is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christopher, <laughs> it's so good. Oh, you're making my pussy so wet, Christopher. <laughs> Close she, the blinds. She smells like mothballs. Yeah. Close the blinds. She tells you she's going to slip into something more comfortable. She just takes off her diabetic socks. <laughs> she, she falls in the shower. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not a monster. I put a chair in there. For <laughs> <laughs> the paramedics come. Chris is like, tell him I broke your hip. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But did it occur to you? Were you thinking this is an old lady, or was oh, yeah, it just yeah, a hot, part of the whole thing. older woman? Yeah, yeah. part of the whole. Yeah, she was yeah, like sexual yeah, fantasy. Like, yeah, yeah. She was her was her like old lady skin a nightmare to touch? Well, no, she was only she was only fifty five, so it wasn't like, and she was she had like fake boobs and she was hot. Cool. And I Four was fifty five year old. I was like young too, so it was like exotic. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, like, like eating at the fans. rainforest cafe. When you're twenty five <laughs> and like all you've been doing is touching, you know, like young people, you don't you don't realize yeah. still the same movements. <laughs> you don't realize the value of skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't realize. Oh, Did man. it make you appreciate younger ladies more, or were you just like, "That was a nice little treat"? Well, there is something yeah. about like sleeping with like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I know. It's gonna, I know it's gonna happen, but like, I <laughs> when you sleep with somebody that's like young twenties, mid twenties, at my age now, you're like, that's a tender veal. You know what I mean? It's like mm. <laughs> it's got like sea otter skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's so milky and smooth. <laughs> and then you go back to like someone that's like in their 40s. And you're like, Jesus. Yeah, there's, there's a wild love hug. this in the garage with the door open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just cooking in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> there's an obvious. We call those a barn find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's an obvious, you know, taste and feel test. Yeah. That you're like, oh, shit, I forgot what skin was like. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years ago. 
<laughs> but that can quickly. You can't bring it up. You can't be like, Jesus Christ, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so fucking Ew. smooth. <laughs> I know, but then. Go, Gert. <laughs> you also start. So, you feel start, just like Stretch Armstrong blood. <laughs> <laughs> it does. You ever want to go to a, a wrestling event? <laughs> My buddy's got dick. <laughs> it does start making you like, it, if you're in the middle of that situation, start going like, touching my skin must be a, a nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Touching my skin must be horrific. Yeah. You start, like apologizing, wax paper. You start yeah. apologizing for your gray chest hair. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, baby. You don't have to sleep over. And she's like, it's okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you realize how bad it is again. No, but yeah, man. tender veal. <laughs> oh, my oh my god You should start that podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this <laughs> We'd like to thank our, po- our sponsor Boyscape <laughs> Come on dish <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. man. That's cool man Yeah, Tommy this is a good uh, item to have out When we're talking about old lady skin That's kind of so Thanks for putting uh, that out here Yeah that's what your your Bellinis are gonna feel like in ten years. <laughs> your balls? Yeah, Bellinis. <laughs> <laughs> Why would your balls feel like a tight basketball, an inflated basketball? Oh, you never you look at the outside. It's got it's uh, little bubbles, little coarse bubbles. How when's the last time you felt tight balls? My ball, my tight balls are my balls are tight all the time. I, what? I'm all meat, no potato. That's why you're always turning tight. the heat up. Huh? That's why you're always turning the heat up. Yeah, I got no yeah, nuts, cold dude. balls. You don't hang? No, my God, it's disgusting. That's cr- I know. Yeah, Even I don't like it. Off, my my nuts go up like a fucking like a squirrel just find a nut. They right oh, right up. Oh man, do they go they up hide. into the hip? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Beating off in sex, nuts go up. They come down for a little bit just to check the temp, but they hang at like two inches down. <laughs> when I was squatting heavy, when I dude, see hanger nuts, dude, when they're. I, when I was squatting heavy, my, my there? right ball would go inside my body. Really? What? When I was squatting heavy, yeah, my right ball would go up inside my yeah. body. What do you do to get him out? You, you like I'd sh- <laughs> <laughs> I'd like push on my Sunflower. like. <laughs> I would do this shit yeah. in the gym, dude, yeah. in front of the squat rack. You just put sunflower seeds in your socks. You gotta get your tra- <laughs> your trainer's gotta blow into your mouth. <laughs> Damn. Thanks, bro. <laughs> That's what the lunk alarm is actually for. <laughs> the old hunk alarm. Yeah. You just keep one long hair on your ball so you can. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an IUD. Yeah. <laughs> old safety valve. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I, dude. Weird, like long nuts on like a younger dude is the strangest looking thing in the world. I don't. I don't want nuts. I don't think like long nuts. Is not, like, wait, 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 wait. Long wait. nuts. Long, <laughs> long nuts. I hope I never get them, dude. Yeah, like I think we're younger. When, right? when do you see a young? You're like with hangers nuts? on your boys. <laughs> <laughs> like dudes are like in the thirties, like like long nuts. Like if some dudes like, yeah, I got a sack. Dude. Yeah, like a guy like, on an electric sucks, scooter dude. going to his yeah. office job. Yeah. You don't want to see long nuts on no. that kind of guy. <laughs> no. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. Do you guys you have long nuts? Uh, variously, yeah, I hate it. I hate it. So they'll yeah. come down. I want less up. nut every time. Yeah. You what? I want less ball all yeah. the time. Yeah. You got hangers? Uh, yeah. I feel like I feel like my my dick, my soft dick, and my left nut have they're like they ride like the you boys. know like yeah yeah they ride like the dual <laughs> cockpit thing and then the right nut is to the like side a baby there. sloth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my dick is drafting my leg. Dude, you ever been driving on a hot day and you're just like, how did I get that far down my leg? No. Oh, damn, Tim. I've never had that. What about when you're shaving your balls? You ever just you're like you're like Still, I can't believe dude, how far a, this is. I have, if your nuts are the peach, mine is the peach core. Like I have, t- uh, my nuts are. There's no give in your sack. N- none. Oh my God. Wow. Even in the loosest manner. Mm-hmm. Nada. Really? Wow. Little, tiny little pull. You got dog balls. You got I've... bad temperature control. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That's what you got. It's probably because it's all bleeding out of my forehead. I sweat all day long, so my nuts are freezing. <laughs> you got to bleed the grease off. My nuts, my nuts are yo-yoing. I know. can see yeah. that. Yeah, temperature you're, wise. Well, you're a weird kid. Yeah, you so got like, you got to put them in a ponytail. Yeah, no, my ponytail. Yeah, I keep my nuts in a wet bun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like those chicks and fun, those hot chicks at like Catholic high schools that do like quick. Fun. Oh, you ball scrunchy. Yeah, <laughs> that quick scrunch. Yeah, they whip it up. It's so hot. You got long nuts? I think they're regular. Yeah. Like nothing to where I'm like, come on. Yeah. There, are, I will say this though. Like when I take my clothes off. 
I will often get frustrated because my dick won't be at a level where the bottom of my ball sack oh, is. Oh, so you have long nuts. No, I think I have smaller dick, regular nuts. Dude, that would be a micro penis. <laughs> it's not a micro penis. Exactly, so you have long nuts. All right, well, thank you, doctor. <laughs> well, I don't Dude, know, but I don't, nuts, I don't think so. Because it's like... If your nuts are stretching beyond your my bird, nuts, you have a normal my bird, nuts, that's long nuts. My nuts and dick, if physical activity is involved, like if I'm moving around, they get the fuck out of the way. My dick gets tiny, my balls shrink up. Right, right. But right. then if I'm chilling... They lax out. Yeah, they come they, out. And hang yeah, out. yeah, yeah. They chill. It's like an opium day. Yeah, yeah. Like so everybody's like, everywhere. Do you, know, do you remember Chris Hopkins? Yeah, Potter. I don't think so. He was a year younger than me. Okay. And he had a he had a tennis ball sized testicle. <laughs> we called him Hoppy, and he would pull out his testicle before every game in the locker room for like a. You know, would you smack speech. it like Notre Dame? I couldn't touch it out of respect. <laughs> Gay like Nobody a champion today. Doctor, <laughs> dude. It, well, we, I don't know what happened to him. But he would pull it out and we'd all go nuts like before every game. It, was, it literally was the size there you of go, you go. one pun in But there. only one. It wasn't his whole there. sack. It was one testicle. That's crazy. They made Stop. a movie about it. Remember the elephant titus? <laughs> Dude, the, having one. Almost, <laughs> you think he ropes? I, I, I don't know. I guess because it comes from the commies. So when he comes, it probably sounds like a balloon deflating. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animal you kids like? He tries to fly out of his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it goes all over the room. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god! How yeah, did that? How did maybe, that? Look, what? Maybe maybe you're right. I think that's it because I got I got weak cummings. Oh, you drip. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't just not all drip, but it's not like a. Yeah, but you, know? you you crank it twice a day, don't you? Yeah, more than that, still. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. you're never gonna have any kind of velocity. You know what I've been doing since you told me what about did I tell you? six months ago? What'd you do? I take maca root. Oh, mm. all Every right. Every day, guess what? Volume seen, volume increase. Seen some difference. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Maca root gives you volume. I took a maca plus ashwagandha or ashwagandha, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> It's pretty common. I mean, they're laughing because these are silly words, but it's just because they're racist. And they don't respect other cultures. That's right. <laughs> Indigenous peoples That's around the world right. have been using these to increase their cum volume for centuries. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tommy knows what I'm talking well, about. Well, <laughs> obviously they were struggling so much with their cum volume, they needed a root to fix it. Yeah. And here in America, oh, it's holistic. We deliver you know I mean? ropes. We yeah, we eat processed foods in America. We get fat and we come in thimblefuls. Yeah. Never again is what I say. True. Uh, yeah. Wait, really. what's the second ingredient that I have to put in my... Ashwagandha. Uh, ashwagandha. Yeah. Just A-S-H-W. It'll autocomplete. So then combine. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no other word. Yeah, that's the only word that starts with that. So <sighs> them combined. Them well, combined was powerful for me. Really? Yeah. What? How does your lady feel when she sees you pop an ashwagandha? Well, I'm get excited about it, the ropes. I'm, I'm internal. Like, I'm internal only. Dancing. So when when she I puts w- her mouth beef <laughs> in, yeah, this guy needs <laughs> Just protect, <laughs> protect her front teeth from getting shipped from all that hard. He puts like she a, she a, on her eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she puts on rec specs. <laughs> Damn, Timmy just dropped ashwagandha. I better get this. Costume. She starts doing like windmills. <laughs> <laughs> she starts Phelpsing. <laughs> She's going to doggy paddle out all his cum. <laughs> Gets into a three-point stance. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I'm Yeah, like I was saying, I'm internal only. But when, when I when I get all my supplements, she'll be like, oh. You know what, what do I you mean, mean internal That's all only. I need. Oh, you, see, you, oh. Only, you don't pull my out. My wife hasn't seen my cum in probably 10 oh, years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Really? Are you t- are you yeah. the, don't you I like don't. seeing it? Mm. <laughs> Chris does. Not really. <laughs> really? I'm being honest, yeah. Why? No man, I'm just I. You know what? Maybe it's that I don't care about that as much as I do about busting inside. Mm-hmm. Busting inside's nice, but also like sometimes you want to see what kind of. All right, ropes you know what? You, down. you know what? I'll pull you know, out like, a couple times for you. Yeah, and I'll get I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> also, sometimes you sometimes the you know the fucking's going on for a while. You've got like you've 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 almost edged yourself a little bit mm-hmm. by the way that you're switching positions. Yeah. you're doing all kinds of different stuff. Oh, no, and you're I, like this I, one's gonna be. <laughs> I can't just let this yeah. die in the dark. It's so true. <laughs> it's not so true. I gotta Dude, see what comes out. I've had yeah. I've had sessions where I like would slowly beat myself, mm-hmm. like in the morning, 
trying to prime a big boy. Yeah. You know I mean? mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll beat to like non-completion, tease myself, and I'll do it in certain <laughs> sessions. Yeah. So that like I'm gonna impress this girl, and then I would like wait a couple days. Yeah. I would tease for a couple days. Yeah, you ferment it. This is it. beyond. Yeah, my you age in like Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then and then I'm like, this is it. And then we would fuck, and I'd like, oh. I'm gonna come. And then come. Just like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> just, oh, I'm like, you. I've been working. I struggled and all, yeah. all I your, scraped your sperm is just like water sliding. <laughs> just wait for this. Struggle, but they never got the speed enough to go all the way down. No. no, those are the best when you're like, you're at home jerking off and then your lady comes home from work. Right. Right before you're about to come and you're like, oh my God, I'm just gonna, so horny. Yeah. I'm so horny. We're just going to fuck. And then you're just, yeah, just. And you take it's it to the, the limit one more time. Yeah, yeah. and those, that's always great because, like, um, <laughs> girls like when you come fast. Oh, yeah, dude. They love it. No, they their do, favorite they when do. you come medium. No, they girls, do. Girls want for you to come quick, medium. For a quick afternoon fuck. If you've already oh, fucked a few yeah. times, yeah. Yes. A quick afternoon fuck. Yeah, like leaning over so the kitchen horny. sink or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, it's, it's well, like, preface it with that. Start with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying universally. Yeah. So Girls you know. love it and when you come before you can even get your pants off. Yeah. yeah. yeah they yeah. love that shit. Yeah, yeah. It gets, it's like, I'm so <laughs> yeah. fucking hot. This dude just busted mm. in two seconds. That I get. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you guys were porking old ladies, did they care whether you pulled out or left it in there? I don't remember. I only had one old lady and I blacked out. This old lady... I took her from. Uh, Is a very very fine old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I took her from a bar in uh, in Wild, North Wildwood, mm. Fame, one of the most popular. Keenan's. Like, yeah, it was one of those. Gateway Twenty Six Arcade. Where like all the old bats just like <laughs> run, around, run around looking for young steez, and I took her back to my uh, the house I was staying at. Wild stuff on the steps outside, and then we went into the outdoor shower. Because I couldn't get into the house. The house uh, she couldn't make it up the steps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's, like, <laughs> she's riding the in lift all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> the battery ran out. Yeah. She's sucking I'm your dick as she's back. going up. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. putting one leg up the stair. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Yo, imagine <laughs> eating an old lady out of her <laughs> One step at a time on all, all yeah. fours. Yeah. <laughs> Your boy's watching you knee climb up the stairs as you eat this old bitch's pussy. <laughs> I'm coming and I can't get up. <laughs> that is the worst. You ever, you, ever, you ever eat pussy with your ass in the air? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we talked about this. Yeah. yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. I just feel like somebody's going to shoot me with one of those like clown game fucking yeah. water guns. Yeah. <laughs> It's like if you have older siblings, you just always think something's going to go right in your head. Yeah. <laughs> you can't expose yeah. your bun from the As back. soon as you realize it, you're like, I'm not fucking Dude, gay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, the second my knees hit the mattress eating pussy, I'm like, someone's going to break into the house. Yeah. It feels like someone's going <laughs> to rob me. I like to be in the position of that that one like army figurine. <laughs> <laughs> Always with the leg up, like. you're, dude. You're holding your rifle in front of you with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yeah, we should all get pussy eating action figures. <laughs> That would, that would be incredible if there's someone oh out there god. that can uh. make that. Oh my god! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Eating action figures. laughs> We're all at home with those intense <laughs> magnifying glasses, <laughs> painting them. Mike's Mike's character. He's got the binoculars in one hand. Down his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's OBGY Joe. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's why I can only eat pussy up against the wall. <laughs> Joe. You'd be the only character. <coughs> Holy yeah. fuck! Yeah. How close are we? I gotta piss. <laughs> you gotta pee. Yeah, I gotta pee. We need. What? You yeah, gotta hold we, that for we eight got, minutes. We got another so. like ten minutes. Uh, yeah. Give the people what they want. Yeah. Holy fuck! Wow. <laughs> I finally watched that uh, M. Night Shyamalan series, The Servant, which takes place in Silk. Oh, it's Silicon. great. Mm. It's okay. I saw the first season. Yeah, it got good. It got actually interesting. I thought the, the front first end was, was really good. so annoying, but it, it did get very good. Yeah. And it's cool that it's shot in Philly. I, I used to hang around that. My lady used to live in that area. 
What area is it? Spruce. Like I was there when they were filming that whole thing. Mm. It's about a twenty uh, second and dead baby, right? That turns out to be not yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then comes to life or some shit. Stop! Don't spoil. I was considering watching it, but I didn't. It is. It is good. But the thing is, with M Night Shyamalan, you're just like, I just don't have any. Well, he writes in a way that it's like, dude, have you ever met anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever met a single person? Like, there's so much that happens in that thing that it's like, and I and I try not to be like that. I used to be the guy who's like, that's not real, but now I'm I'm like, it's supposed to be entertaining. This is entertainment. Allow sure. yourself to be scared. Just don't try to def- I've been actually been trying to Don't try to, get to more- science your way out of being scared in a horror movie, you fucking pussy. Well, I, you know what that is? You know? you know what that is? I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been trying mm-hmm. to get like whenever I watch like TV and movies, I've been trying to put myself in a trance. And I think yeah. that's part of why people don't take anything like they watch seriously is cuz you're always just like half watching and you're like looking at your phone and shit. And now I'm trying to like, okay, let this movie take me. I also been smoking weed a ton since yes. I lost my job. <laughs> But I'm trying to like be taken somewhere when I when I take in like a movie or yeah. TV. So I think I think that's why people. I think that's why maybe that's why you were doing. Did you re, are you a big phone guy while you're watching? No, like, no, no, no. I was I was invested in this thing. I was I was dialed in. I just as as a kid, no, not this thing. I mean uh, before habitually. Yeah. Uh no, I usually like I usually get engaged. I like I, I hate that. looking. I can I can feel my I can like I always get to a place where I can feel that I've been looking at my phone like mm-hmm. fucking too much, and I just like. Yeah, you just like you need those like weird hits. I've Dude, been watching like old timey movies because they don't give a fuck about your attention span at all. They're like, <clears throat> when they made a movie, they were like, these people are coming here for the day to watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll make this three hours, mm-hmm. forty five minutes of which is credits, <clears throat> and we'll just slowly take you through a story. They're not like there's nothing that it's like we might lose the audience here. It's like they are not gonna leave. They right. paid twenty five cents for this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of their horses <laughs> died getting to this movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, that stuff's great. But this one was just like there's just little things in the movie. I'm trying to think of like moments of it where you're just like, that is so. No one would ever do that, and I don't. I don't know who would say that. It's also like I think there's some bad acting. Like the main actor is supposed to be like kind of this like cool. He's supposed to be like kind of a badass Philly guy. Oh, that's never a good he's thing. He's supposed to be like a badass Philly guy who's a chef, but he doesn't really pull it off. And then he has like lines that are supposed to be funny later on that is like that a cool Philadelphia guy would say, but it just comes off. Ma, where the fuck are my knives? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> it just comes off so bad. Yeah. And also, yeah, M. Night Shyamalan, I just have no faith in his ability to do anything. Well, I got to give M. Night credit because he keeps getting back on the horse. And every time he's released something for the past like 15 years, people have been like, boo, fuck you, dude. This is dude. the worst ever. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to find out. How does he not? He was on Epstein's plane or something like that. He's, I don't know how <laughs> he keeps getting financed. He was dead the entire shit. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way. There's, I like, there's just no way people could keep funding these things. Like, this will go well. I think they keep making money. Dude, the best yeah, M. Night maybe. Shyamalan movie I've they ever must. seen was the one in the, uh, what was the one in the elevator the whole time? Devil. Devil. Because it was me and this lady who brought a baby into the theater. We were the only ones there, and somebody must have alerted the manager that the lady had a baby in Devil, and we were the only three people in there, me, this lady, and this baby. And the manager came in, he's like, look, you can't really have kids, the baby's at the theater, and she's fucking screaming at him while Devil's going on. <laughs> That's the only reason why I enjoy Devil. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, is this one of those- Where on the ticket yeah. do it say I can't bring a child? Like interactive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is this like, part that? of the yeah. movie? It was like Tommy and Louise's wedding or whatever. What's that, what's that one play where they like they come out of the audience? Tony and Tina. Tony and Tina. <laughs> Tommy and Louise. <laughs> Tommy and Louise. Tommy and Louise kill themselves at the end of the dinner. Tommy and Tina. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those things. I got a final callback doing an audition for that that show. Servant. Servant. Oh, really? Yeah. Against for the baby? Wall. No, I was a... <laughs> I was like a hard. Or, uh, I was a ball extra for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> ball double. <laughs> they only needed my nuts. <laughs> Thank just, you. Dude, imagine, imagine being all. Just, dude, just <laughs> composite <laughs> them in when the baby's like. Okay, Tommy. So I want you to imagine in this. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm in one of those green screen suits, but only my nuts are. <laughs> <laughs> Got one of those white golf balls attached to his actual ball. <laughs> I can just pluck my nuts. You know, I'm just a full size man moving around the room. Tommy, good news, you got the call. We're gonna pay three hundred dollars a week. We've never seen yeah. anything. like Your balls that. have to join SAG. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. Oh, oh my, my god. god, dude. Oh my god. Actually, I got a SAG waiver. (laughs) Wow, dude.